Hey, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. Today, I'm going to talk about the subject of ADHD. But first, I'm going to give you a little background before I talk about one particular thing that has helped us and a few other things. So, I hope you stay with me, and if this is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone else that would help, please share it with them. So, I appreciate you all watching. Rachel, welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. I have four boys ages 9 to 19, and today I am wanting to talk about one of my boys, my second oldest, who is a senior this year. He'll be 18 this summer, and we have homeschooled him all the way through. Um, he is actually praying about taking a trades in mechanics this fall. He does not know that for sure yet. Just really trying to decide on what the Lord wants him to do. But I want to talk about him, I'm trying to, he's one of my biggest boys, but so I'm thinking of him as a little guy. He once was a little guy. And when he was a little guy, at the age of six, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune disorder. It's quite different from type 2. Um, a lot of you might be familiar with type 1 is when your pancreas completely shuts down and there is no return. Um, but so he is lives on insulin and um, counts carbs. And when he was tested for that, and we discovered that he had that, they also said his levels were very high for another autoimmune disorder, which is celiac, which with celiac, you cannot have wheat, barley, rye, anything with gluten in it. Um, it was confirmed a few months later when he had a scope done. Um, with celiac, your vials in your intestines are not there to absorb the nutrients that your body needs. And once you stop eating gluten, those will come back. So it is very important to stay on the gluten-free diet. And there are a lot of symptoms besides stomach symptoms for celiac. It can also affect um, the way you act and the way you think and that's understandable because you are not receiving the nutrients that your body needs. So with my six turned seven year old when we found out he had celiac, he was a very hyperactive boy. He was my second child, uh, you know, the kind that would run before he thought and dive into something before he would really think about it, you know, a very active child, quite so different from my oldest and my the one underneath him he was my most cautious <laughs> so you know and every child is different so you didn't think too much about that and a lot of it I started blaming on his blood sugar levels because with diabetes depending on what you eat or what might happen that day whether you were under a lot of stress it can affect whether your blood sugar goes up or down how active you are and that can all affect how you act towards something or how you respond. So, you know, a lot of his um, reactions, I, I just blamed on his blood sugar. But I really felt like we were having good blood sugars. His A1C was good. And I, I don't even remember how I looked. I wish I kept better records for this for you. As I'm telling you, I am going to give you something that really helped us out in just a minute. But I do want to tell you that I looked up ADHD for whatever reason. And seeing all those symptoms, <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I think this is what he has. Now, I didn't know a lot about it. I didn't talk to anybody about it. I may have talked to my parents about it at some point because of what... Um, we did for him, which was put him on a more restrictive diet. Okay, so a lot of you are thinking, I know we're not supposed to have the dyes, we shouldn't have sugar, we shouldn't have that. But the diet that I put him on was a restrictive diet, but it was also a cleansing for that. And I wanna mention, it was called the Fine Gold Diet. I don't know if any of you have heard of that. 
and he was on it about six months. Um, I wish I would have stuck with it longer, but I didn't, but I do feel like it helped. And I learned so much that I feel like a lot of it has stuck with me and we have stayed with a lot of, a lot of it to a point. It is a very strict diet in the beginning. They have two phases, which is phase one and phase two. Phase one is what we tried to stick with the whole time. So this is one of the books um, this lady, this mom, wrote. Um, it's a natural mom's guide to the fine gold diet, and it's really more of an explanation of what are in our foods and explaining it all to us. And this was so helpful because um, I really do encourage you to look up some information about the fine gold diet. I'm not going to go into detail about it here. I'm going to mention some things that it does tell you this book tells you about it tells you about salicylates which is usually like high acidy um, fruits and vegetables like you couldn't have tomatoes um, which she has a recipe for um, like a carrot instead of tomatoes you use carrots to make like a sauce for pizza and for you know chili and all that it was actually good he never complained about it um, she talks about she talks about food labels and reading food labels helps you understand all the additives that are in foods and um, like BHA and BHT and TBHQ how they're synthetics and also about um, aspartame artificial flavorings um, artificial coloring all that stuff is synthetic so and Sugar is actually not necessarily eliminated in this diet. That was the interesting part. Now, this diet was started by uh, Dr. Feingold back in the 70s, I think, um, for some other health, I think it was asthma and something else, but then they realized it was helping children with this, and he, I think, put it out for this reason. Now, a lot of doctors will dismiss it, but there are some doctors who will say, that sounds perfect, let's try it. So, um, if you have a son or daughter that has ADHD and you are looking for an alternative, um, I really suggest doing some research on this diet. I suggest this book, you can get it off of Amazon and just reading it just as an eye-opener into what is in our food and what is going into our children. Now, it doesn't affect everybody to the extreme. Now, I feel like definitely um, we had to go to the extreme. I mean, we're talking about taking, if you understood where food coloring went into, what, I mean, what colors, I mean, even in your toothpaste. <laughs> It's in everything. So um, we eliminated that for sure all. We followed this diet. We actually, it, you do have to purchase a food list. Um, and you can do that yearly. But you would say, what? You have to purchase the food list? Can't you just eliminate this stuff? A lot of it is hidden. And Fine Gold will actually do the research for you and they keep a constant running list because you have to understand that there's a lot of foods that change their ingredients maybe every year every five years so um you have to somebody has to keep up with that and i know as a mom just doing this diet having the list i mean it would tell you what bread i mean everything you could possibly imagine down to condiments what brands they, you know, whatever ones they could give you, they would. Um, it'll also tell you different things that it would have in it. Like, um, they even have baby foods in here. Um, baking supplies, beverages, condiments, candy and gum, egg sub eggs and egg substitutes, fish and seafood, pastas, um, sugars, syrups, vegetables, vitamins and supplements. Um, all kinds of things. I mean, anything you can think of or would want to buy, it would tell you which ones you could have. It also, I think, narrows it down a little bit to even like some, like it would tell me if it was gluten-free. 
because gluten-free is not part of the fine. Like you would not have to go gluten-free, but that's what we needed to be because he had celiac. So we needed, the list would tell me which foods were gluten-free. I think it mentioned if they had soy or corn in it, maybe, maybe even dairy. I know it mentioned GMO. Like if you wanted non-GMO, it would tell you. Um, so it was very detailed if you were wanting to do this diet, but also you had some other eliminations or allergies that you had to deal with. So that was very helpful for us. So when I went to the store, it took a little while. It did. And it was not easy. No, it was not. I'm going to admit I had four boys at the time because I had my little guy. Um, he was probably a year too old when I was trying to go through this. And like I said, we did it probably for a good six months. I stuck to it as strict as can be. But I do want to tell you something encouraging about it. I wish I could have stuck with it longer. But I remember going to visit my parents and my mom saying, wow, I can really see the difference. She knew I was doing this, but I didn't talk about it much. But just for her to say that, was like, wow, okay. And it was someone within the family. Like he would be himself in front of my parents. So that was so encouraging. And I really feel like the diet works. Now, no, we have not stuck with it. But yes, we have stayed away from dyes. I watch to make sure there's not all these synthetic additives that I mentioned in this list. Um, I try my very best. Am I perfect at that? No but it has opened my eyes to what we are purchasing and what we are eating and in the end it really has helped us all to eat a little bit healthier um do i always buy organic no i bought him certain granola bars and realized after a time oh my goodness i didn't realize this had it in it as he gets older i mean he's really going to someday grow up be on his own and you know i'm not going to be able to be there to help him make the choices with the celiac, he he is a good eater. He will eat a salad. He will eat broccoli. He will eat, um, he likes food, <laughs> let's put it that way. So he's not overly picky, which is so helpful. And, um, but I'm hoping that I have shown him enough to help him realize to look at things and make healthy choices. Because we've talked about it and he's looked at it. And um, I remember even, you know, after getting this book, reading it to the boys and some of the things in it, just because, I mean, if you want to know more about food and what's in your food, I mean, this would be a great book for homeschooling and teaching your kids. Um, so let me mention that. But other things that we did, we had a trampoline. Um, I feel like jumping, and there's a lot of research in that, jumping up and down helps the brain. And I feel like that made a huge difference. He is a coffee drinker. I talked to another mom about that. Now, I don't think he did that until he was, I don't know, probably middle school, I'm guessing. Um, but I remember talking to another mom, and she said yes, that a couple of her kids had to do that. Because they don't sleep the best. And um, it's almost like my husband said, coffee gets all those... Um, cobwebs out of your brain and helps you think clearly. And I almost feel like I can see that for my son um, because he is tired. Supplements, vitamins, there are definitely some um, like your bees and your fish oils. And um, I've, I'm always learning more. So I'm learning more that really magnesium, things like that, um, that will help with the sleep, but it also helps just calm. So I just encourage you, I just wanted to do this video to encourage you. I do want to mention that most people outside of this family would never know, would have no clue. Everybody in this house, we know. We know here he comes, <laughs> but we love him. He is a fun loving guy. He is very smart. He's the one that um, built a computer from scratch. He did all the research and um, made his own computer to work faster because he's into photography and videography. And he has his own drone, I think his second drone. He's, so um, 
I just want to encourage you that maybe looking into ways you could help your son or daughter. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to homeschool him. I feel like that has helped him. It's helped him with his interests. It's given him so many more opportunities than I think he would have had if he was in school. So I just wanted to share all this with you. I hope it helped somebody. I hope it was encouraging. If you have a child with ADHD and please share down below anything that you feel like will help maybe even the age because I think at different ages they go through different things and um, I just wanted to encourage you and you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching.